What's up, Priest Planet? It is a Tarot Priest, and I'm here with another Pick a Card reading. Today, what we're going to be looking at is probably one of the most important questions you're ever going to ask. What is your life purpose? This is a question that everybody should be asking. Those who are not asking are just simply not on their journey of spiritually awakening. If you guys landed on this video, I truly believe that the universe, God, whatever you believe in, has sent you here to discover what your life purpose is. Congratulations, welcome to the very beginning and the brink of your spiritual awakening and journey. And I'm thoroughly excited to be able to guide you guys to discovering what your life purpose is. So this video is gonna be intense but it's, I'm gonna keep it 100% honest and real with you guys because I truly believe that the truth will set you guys free. I believe that we all have a purpose. We're all here. Even the smallest flower and the smallest insect has a purpose living on earth. So it would be silly for us not to ask what our life purpose is. But before we get started, of course, if you guys wanna book a personal reading with me, you guys can find all that information in the description box below, along with discovering how to read tarot and any other information that I have that you guys might be seeking. So let's jump into it. We have the first deck number one, which is the pink sage. We have deck number two, which is the green sage. And we have deck number three, the purple sage. So let's hop into this reading. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and discovering what is your life purpose. All right, so we have the pink sage. We're gonna start with the unicorn oracle deck. Strength. So you guys could be a Leo, you don't have to be. Um, also, yeah, you guys could be a Leo or have it in your chart. Strength, delight, balance, and leadership. So right off the bat, you guys are leaders, especially if you're a Leo with the strength card here. And the reason why I say that is because most Leos are really great leaders. So your guys' life purpose has something to do with having the strength to withstand whatever it is that you guys are going through. Also to enjoy life and have balance. Step into your leadership, share your message, and inspire and empower others. So this tells me that whatever you guys, I feel like with you guys, you guys have a story. You guys have been through something. We all have been through something. But your story in particular is supposed to help you become more of a leader. So with your story, I feel as though you are meant to lead and share your story and inspire others. So whatever it is that you've been through, the strength that you have is going to be admirable to many people. Also, it's I'm getting that with you guys, you've been through so much and people question, how were you so strong? How were you able to overcome these things? And if that is the case, then yes, I'm speaking to you. Uh, you have a leadership gift on you and you have a message to share with very many people. Also, you have courage to inspire and, and empower other people through your story. So what I want to say to you, group number one, and yes, this is going to get deep. Do not be ashamed of where you come from. Do not be ashamed of the story and what you have been through because it is through the story that you're gonna be able to share this message, encourage other people, empower them, and inspire them. Also, I'm getting that it is through your past that you will discover why you're here. So whatever it is that you went through, <laughs> wow, it says look for the gifts in this situation. So going through that storm that you guys have went through is where you guys will discover your gifts and have discovered your gifts. You guys, some of you may have known what your gifts and life purpose is, but I feel like you underestimate yourself and you doubt yourself. And also you're, you fear judgment, like you fear what you've been through. But what I hear so clearly is that it is the story that has created the strength for you to be a leader. You are not meant to be a follower. Yeah, this is about to get deep. This reading is going to get deep. Okay. 
Also, what I'm hearing is that you are also a manifester. You're able to make a wish and things happen for you. You have a lot of favor on your life. A lot of people feel like you have a lot of good fortune or good luck or how has this happened to you? However, many people who see that don't realize what you've been through. So you have found a way to be grateful for the small things in life and able to count blessings and enjoy life though you went through so much. I also feel like wherever you're working right now is you could be a leader there, but I'm getting more of that's not, that is not what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, I'm going to bust some bubbles today. That's not what you're supposed to be doing. You can do it, but that's not why you're here. You're not, you weren't created solely for what you're doing currently, unless you are in a leadership position, sharing your message and inspiring and empowering others. Detach, share the love, joy and stability. So that's the second time I have joy here. So it is also through your message or what you have been through that you're going to be able to share love, joy, and stability for other people. Awaiting results. Share the love. Detach. And embrace. That's what I'm getting. So your message is love. You have a message of love and you also have a message of freedom, being free, being free, but it's going to require you to detach from the things that have happened to you, questioning why they happened, uh, questioning how this could have happened, detaching from the fears. I feel like you guys have been through a lot. You're looking for a breakthrough but it's coming now that you're awakened a little bit more to what your purpose is in which i'm still going to clarify there's tons of cards here but with you guys you guys are manifestors you guys have a gift of sharing love unconditional love mending hearts of people uh detaching from certain situations manifesting while you're awaiting results and also joy and stability. People, people love to be around you. People love to be around you. You have this aura, this energy. And I think that that is great for leadership because I just, I see you guys being leaders, but people swarming you after you share your story and your message. But I feel like there's some fears there of judgment, fears of shame, guilt, all that has to be removed. You're not the same person anymore. And fear of judgment is going to hinder your growth in a, in a leadership position. Embrace it. You have more joy coming to you than you have currently. All of the things that you guys have been through, you guys are going to reap the rewards. It's time to reap the rewards, but it's also time to step into leadership position because you're not made to be a follower. Heal. Yeah, you could also have a, yeah, you definitely have a gift of healing. I don't know why I even said you could. Um, sharing the love. So what, what you've been through, you being able to heal yourself, you being able to detach. This is something else. You being able to heal and share love and detach. You have a gift of love and healing the heart healing wounds uh, a lot to do with heart but it's also about having the courage to mend these wounds so you have a healing gift and also your message that you're sharing is not just what you've been through but it's also about harmony and coming together and being in union being together as one you're like, you're the type of person who is not for bullies. You're the type of person who wants everyone to come together, everyone to have the same, um, everyone to have the same benefits. You're in position of wanting to make everyone equal. And so that's also where the balance comes in. People love to be around you. You have an aura. You could be a speaker 
a speaker or an advocate or want a nonprofit organization or desire to help people, I don't, I'm not getting that. I'm not getting that it is children. It could be for a few of you, but a lot of this energy, just for the most of you guys, it is more of young adult or adults that I'm getting surrounding. Like I just see you sharing your story, empowering others, inspiring others, and people swarming you with hugs and love. And your story is actually healing you and healing others. That's the healing gift. You have the healing gift of, you have the gift of healing through your story and your message. Yeah, let's look at this. Let's look at the tarot. Yeah, you guys have lost a lot. You guys have grieved a lot. Um, also, you guys could have the gift of healing hearts after people who have passed. The, that, that grieve um, in which people go through after losing someone, you guys have that gift. You have the gift of healing broken hearts. Yeah. You have the gift of healing broken hearts, but I do see it also around pe losing people um, and being there in support when people do pass. Interesting. Nine of cups, emotionally, I, I just think people enjoy to be around you. They think that you're a gift. They think that what you have is a gift. Again, you underestimate yourself. You've been through a lot, again, with the 10 of wands here, but it's getting ready to come to an end as you, it was all your entire life. And everything that you've been through is to literally get you to this video so that you can be awakened to your purpose and understand a lot of the things that have happened to you. Like you guys are questioning a lot, wanting to just be happy, wanting your main, your main focus and wants and needs and wish fulfillment is just simple joy and stability. But again, back to what I was saying, your entire purpose, everything you've been through to get you to come to this video this day to choose this deck is because you needed to be awakened to some of the reasons why things have happened. You guys have questions. Why did this happen? How come it's so hard for me? Why does it seem like I never get a break? It's because of today, you discovering your purpose. You have a gift of healing. You have a gift of strength. Therefore, because you have these gifts, you are going to be put through certain situations and circumstances or events that are going to activate that. What more way can we activate these gifts of strength and healing unless you are broken and wounded? That is where the gifts are, are built. That is where the gifts are birthed. So yes, you've been through a lot. You have questions. Why, 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 why did I go through these things? Uh, why did this have to happen to me? Why did I lose this person? Why can't I just be happy? It is because you are now being pushed into leadership position. You are now being pushed into a spiritual awakening. Just got to make sure we have enough time for you guys. Cause this is deep and you're just, again, you're waiting, but it's time now. Yeah, and it's time to let go of things that have happened in the past, people who have hurt you, people who have said things, holding grudges, holding grudges, release that, release that. All the people who have hurt you, you have the power to heal your own heart. And the people who have hurt you have compassion and love for them because they didn't know and they're struggling. Because if somebody like you comes and speaks to the world and shares your message, then we can prevent the things that have happened to you because we have reached those people who have been eager to do the things to others that they've done to you. Whether that's hurt, heartbreak, all of that type of stuff. Without the message, we cannot touch people. We cannot inspire or empower them. We need somebody like you to step up, share your message, and um, understand that you guys have this gift for a reason. But you gotta let go of these grudges in this if you have any anger, any resentment, it has to be healed. Think of your heart like your heart is just swallowing the wounds and swallowing all of the hurt and swallowing it. And don't close off yourself to love because that's not who you are. And just mend it. You, you have to let your, your heart literally pour over the wounds and heal them. And so all the people who have hurt you, said th things about you, all that stuff has to be released as you move towards this leadership position. 
Six of Pentacles. So yeah, this is charity, the charity card. You guys, like I said, could be looking into nonprofit, volunteering, homeless, shelters, outreach programs. Uh, what am I thinking of? Uh, safe houses, all of that stuff. All of that stuff is like you. People need to be around your energy and understanding as, as they're in the presence of your energy, they're going to heal. They're going to feel like they have the strength. They don't, they're not going to know where it comes from, but it's your presence. It's your energy. Knight of Wands. Yeah, you're really passionate about it. You, this is going to move forward. Whatever you're passionate about, it is certainly time to move forward. It's time to move forward with this you you know what it is it's passion you're gonna have some projects on the side things that drive you and excite you from now on follow the things that excite you and inspire you you're a very driven person all right the energy is gaining momentum yeah that's what's happening right now <laughs> the energy is gaining momentum i'm just here as a vessel to power you up so you can go off into the world and do what it is that you're supposed to be doing all right a personal itch issue reaches resolution so even right now as i'm talking you guys are healing you guys should be able to feel that healing energy overwhelming you and healing the wounds surrounding you covering you so these salute these issues that you guys have been having they're getting ready to melt away now that you know that you have this gift some of you may have already known but now that you know all of these personal issues are reaching resolution you're finding peace in them understanding gaining more clarity being able to release it don't let your past hold you back man this is beautiful i love it so yes don't let your past hold you back see your past is not meant to hold you or keep you it is meant to empower you and inspire you that's where we have to change our perspective on the past situation and the things that you have been through and just simply wanting something to, to happen positivity positively in your life. And it's crazy because even you guys, when people see you, they wouldn't even imagine some of the things you guys went through. They're just like, oh, I love being around him or her. They just have great energy. They're, they're just a ball of joy. But your past will be the, your past is the activator to your present and future. However, it can also be the hindrance factor to that as well. All right. We have two cards of empowerment that I'm going to read for you guys. And I have yet to read these cards. So I'm interested just as you are to see what the hell they have to say. So 10, the power of the divine masculine. Again, now with the divine masculine, as if you're a woman, you have a masculine energy to be able to lead. All right, an empowering energy seeks expression from within. It wishes to free you from confusion, perilous, and stagnancy. It seeks to stir you into consciousness, choosing action, greater discipline, and focus. It's time to end the frustration of repeating old patterns. You are ready to break through into a new way of life. Feel inspired. Be energized and focus on your dreams and desires. Take steps to manifest them on the physical aspect. Believe your sense. Believe your success is inevitable. So the divine masculine in you knows when to accept, when to say no to a belief, fear, habit, person, or situation. Also, it rallies the spirit and responds in times when you may feel drained, taken advantage of, or overwhelmed by too many choices and demands. It cuts through the confusion that comes with choice and priority. Do not minimize your inner divine masculine, whether you be a man or a woman, nourish it. Also, the divine masculine is alpha, leadership, being a leader. You are not a follower. However, if your masculine energy has been trapped in the wombs of your ancestors, he may demand absolute perfection before you believe you are worthy of love. He may even be violent towards you, perhaps keeping you from saying no to violent relationships or self-harming through ignoring your feelings, vulnerabilities, or intuitive wisdom. The inner misogynist will fall away as a new empowered divine masculine asserts into within you learn to trust this part of yourself trust when he says no to something or someone trust when he says you are ready for this so yes again confirmation you guys are leaders and you guys are meant to lead that is the divine masculine that's within you 
And if you're a man, then it's time to step up to also being a leader and an alpha and to the calling of your divine masculine energy. 37, the heart transmission. Your heart is capable not only of giving and receiving love, but of connecting you to a great network of beings that resonate in the highest frequency of divine love. Through your heart, you can receive information and guidance from networks of light that fill our universe. As you learn to open your heart to receiving these transmissions, your ability to work with group consciousness in a loving way increases. You shall affect humanity in a loving way, influencing the collective, hello, rather than allowing the lower frequencies of the collective to overwhelm you. Working with a group of energy is a leap on the spiritual path with risk, but also great reward in terms of empowerment to manifest your life mission. The heart is the key to deciding where you offer your devotion. It is important to also work with groups that can serve you. Although you may love your family, for example, they may not be the group that will best serve you. Perhaps those who are open, willing, and receptive to your spiritual gifts outside are probably going to be from your family. Perhaps your family can benefit spiritually from you in the role of a mother, son, daughter, but not in the role of a spiritual mentor. Your heart will guide you to operate differently with different people. You may be guided to explore hobbies or interests that lead you to the next group that your present can assist. The heart will also guide you when it is time to move on. So all about the heart. And also what I get from this card is heart transmission. Like I said, you guys have this healing ability to heal the heart, heal broken wounds, heal broken hearts, heart aches. And so it's almost as if you're giving your heart to another person. But before you do that, make sure that it's healed. Make sure that your own heart is healed. Heal yourself first with your powerful abilities to do so. And then you will be on your way to transmitting your heart. Beautiful message, deck number one. I hope that I was able to encourage and inspire you for your life purpose, for you to start seeking it. Like I tell everyone, do some journaling, research, get into spiritual enlightenment and really activate these powers that you have. So again, if you guys chose deck number one, I can't wait to see what you guys comment down below. Uh, love and light to you guys. Thank you so much for being able to be open to let me guide you guys to your life purpose. On to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading for discovering what your life purpose is all about. All right. We have tons of cards. I cannot wait to get into this reading for you guys. Deck number one was so powerful, but I'm sure deck number two and three will also be just as powerful. All right, let's start with the unicorn deck, polarity. Oh, I love this card. All right, so polarity comes from a place of dark and light. Also, it comes from a place of yin and yang, masculine and feminine, but it also comes to remind us that it is through the dark times that we find our light. So you already are a light worker and a light being is what I'm getting from this, but you had to have gone through some dark times for you to be able to, to discover this light. For you to be able to discover this light. Six ray of devotion, we'll look at that last. Awareness, so you guys, also have a gift of awareness, living in the moment and conscious, being conscious. I feel like you guys are pretty much more awakened than the average person, only because you might do your research, you might see numbers, signs, and you guys have curiosity. Uh, most people, they, they just see 1111 and they don't look into it. You may be someone who is a lot more aware of signs and guidance and also being aware and conscious of your thoughts living in the moment compassion so you guys have a gift of compassion be gentle with yourself forgiveness will set you free see the light in yourself and others right away already i could tell that you guys have a purpose of light being a beacon of light expansion spread your wings and soar share your message share your light 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 you guys are a light oh this is gonna be amazing all right, you guys are the light, the light, the light. Flow and be loved. Okay. Let's weigh in on this. Already, like I had mentioned previously, you guys have a gift of compassion, but you guys are also the light. So your guys' life purpose is to simply be the light. 
Sometimes we overcomplicate life purpose, but it's as simple as being the light. Now, though we may think that this is simple, it's much easier to be the dark or to be angry or to have more egotistical ways of life. So your challenge in life mostly is gonna be egotistic outlook, but also being the light in dark situations. So you guys might question why you attract crappy people crappy circumstances, why you may have bad luck. Well, when you think of yourself as a light, think of all of the insects that it attracts, like moss, right? Moss also are attracting, moss are also attracted to death. So with moss, right, they're attracted to corpse. After people die, there are certain insects that come, moss are one of the carcasses that come. And it is very interesting because they are attracted to the light just as they are attracted to death. So this tells me that you will be attracting people who have very low vibrations. They don't really beam light. You guys might walk into a room and people notice you. Even if you guys are not um, suited up or tailored or have a fresh haircut or have makeup on, people still notice you and it's because of your energy. You have a light and so what happens is the universe or God is going to direct you into the most darkest places. What use would you have being a light in a big bright room? So you attract a lot of moss, a lot of people who are hurt, who are broken, who are depressed, who just need some type of hope. You are the hope card, you are the star card. So look into that tarot card, the star card. So you give people hope. You have compassion and you need compassion for the people that you're attracting. So with the polarity, it tells me with the light and the white and the dark side that you guys will be attracting a lot of people who are broken. A lot of people who just need some type of hope or someone to sit down and have compassion with them. You have this heart of generosity and that is the light that is See, being seen within you. Also, I feel like I get that you guys, a lot of, I, I feel like you guys are there for people, but you don't really have a lot of people who sit down and ask you how you're doing. And I feel like that is because you have to be a little bit more open about the things that you struggle with and have a little bit more of a vulnerability to be open to share that and not see vulnerability as being weak, but also just seeing it as having a transparency moment with the people that you're gonna be able to reach. So uh, with the expansion card, it tells me spread your wings and soar, share your message and shine your light. So this tells me that shining your light is, it doesn't matter where you are. You can be in the grocery store and you shining your light to two people are going to affect those two people who go home and now are around their family and have good energy. So I also feel like don't minimize how great it is to just simply be the light. Don't overlook it by thinking that it is not some powerful type of light because we all know just one tiny beam of light in a room full of darkness still shines, okay? So this tells me that you are aware of your surroundings as well. So you may not hang out with people who have negativity or low vibrations, or you may just step aside. But for the most part, you guys do have compassion and you do have a gift of forgiving people that have hurt you that some people may say don't deserve forgiveness. And so this tells me that you having a gift of forgiveness and compassion, you are going to be sent people who take advantage of that because our gifts are exercised through the most challenging trials and tribulations. Meaning you might attract people who lack a lot of compassion. And so your job to activate your gift of compassion and light is to be around people who may have substances abuse, substance abuse, who are abusive, who need compassion. Think about all the people in the world who need compassion. Those are the people you're going to attract. And so you're going to be activating your gift by being compassionate when others cannot. That's a gift. We all know it's, it's hard to be compassionate to the people who have hurt us the most. You have a gift of doing that. Flow, uh, surrender the outcome, release your expectations. So expand and don't be, a, don't be afraid of where it's going to take you. Don't be afraid of what people are going to think of you. It is time to expand and it is time to continue to share your light wherever that may be. 
and then prepare for your life partner romance is returning believe you are lovable so again with the love the beloved you guys could have a twin flame you don't have to or a best friend that encompasses the same thing for the most you guys definitely could be a twin flame you guys could have a twin flame because we have polarity and we have the beloved uh, but that's besides the fact your purpose is to be the light and shine the light in the most darkest places and the most brightest places and that takes compassion and that's not easily obtainable moving on simply love and lead wow that's so crazy so this card right spread your wings is also on the expansion card of spreading your wings and soaring so it's time to travel it's time to be free taking the risk getting out there so you guys have been shining your light in smaller places now it is time to expand and shine your light in mo in in more darker places you guys could be into the social work or psychology but it's wherever you're at the moving on i don't feel like this is love if this is love, if you guys have past heartbreak, it's time to heal that, have compassion for that person and set them free, forgiveness and setting them free because you have the gift to do it. You have a gift of compassion, therefore it is time to forgive the person who has hurt you so that you can set yourself free and see the light within yourself. So it's time to move on. Your mission with that person is done, is what I'm hearing. And when people question why you stay or why do you deal with certain people, tell them because you are meant to be compassionate. Unconditional love has no conditions. What would I look like leaving a person because of conditions? But now it's time to move on. Your mission there is done. And your job and whatever else you're doing. It's time to expand and spread your, spread your wings. Love, love, love. You have a lot of love too to give but you're also meant to be a leader. You're also meant to lead and not follow. You've been a follower for some time. For most of you guys, you guys are followers. You like to be, you don't really like to be in the forefront, but now it's time to lead the way because we need more people on this planet who understand what compassion is. You don't have to have a reason to be compassion, to be compassionate, but people don't understand that. We have a lot of people who are afraid of being vulnerable in this world, putting themselves out there, being loved because they've been hurt. But your purpose is to show people that you can be compassionate with the people who have hurt you the most. Embrace the dark, embrace the light. When you embrace the dark, it is you embracing the light as well. You embracing the dark because you are the light. There is no such thing as darkness when you're there because it's so bright. This is deep, but I'm just letting you know that don't, minimize your strength and compassion in being the light and having love. And that's why I feel like it's time to spread your wings. You may not see it as a gift. You may not see it as a life purpose, but without people like you on this planet, how else are we going to understand what real compassionate love is? How else are we going to understand how to be the light? We all have our definitions. Society paints a picture of what compassion is, what love is, but you're here to break the stereotypes and to break the paradigms, to love people. You might be doing work in the jail or the prison, working with people who, yes, mm -hmm, for most of you guys, working with people who are felons, working with people who have a past. Anyone who needs compassion the most, you are meant to work with them. Kids, I think kids love you because kids are compassion. They are love. So they will be attracted to you because you guys are, you guys are both beams of light. Kids are, children are innocent, but I feel like your compassion is needed in the, the most darkest places. Nurture. Yeah. You, you have a, a great spirit of nurture, peace, nature, motherly and it comes with the compassion so i do feel like you guys have children or you're gonna have children or you were you were made to have children or adopt children you guys are great with kids but i feel like you guys are meant to work in the darkest places the places where people need compassion the most 
that's where the leadership comes into play. All right. It's time to take action. Again, it's time to move forward. It's time to expand, travel, look into some things. Even if you're question, like uh, for a few of you guys, I hear that you guys, I hear that you're questioning your authoritative mission, but also your qualifications. And I think that this, this is a fear of feeling like you need to be qualified to be who you already are. Your purpose does not need a degree. Your purpose does not mean that you have to go to school for 20 years before you can say that you have gifts. I solely believe that if you were placed here with gifts, you already embody it and encompass it. Don't worry about the qualifications. Put yourself in certain situations where you can love and have compassion for other people, uh, whatever that is, and whatever that may look like for you, volunteering and that such. It's time to take action. Aries, luck is on your side. It's definitely time. You guys have a lot of fire energy too, Aries and Sagittarius. New moon and Scorpio. Work through your fears. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You guys have these fears. Am I qualified? Or what do I need to say that I have this gift? You guys don't need any of that stuff. Your gift is within you. It's embedded in you. It's your DNA. So these fears that you have are what's holding you back from expansion and flying and soaring. Start with your community as well. Start with your community, start with volunteering, uh, start with the, the, it's almost like I keep feeling like it's the people that people don't care about the most. And it's so sad, but homeless people, uh, which I, I admire homeless people. They literally are my life goal because they're so free. But that's my perspective on how I'm able to see that because my purpose revolves around freedom. But for you guys, it's like the people that the world cares the least about is where you're needed. So think about that. That's why I'm saying the jails, the prisons, and these uh, kids, these adolescents who are on streets and they feel like people don't care about them. Your compassion walking into that room, it's a wrap. It is a wrap. You're literally going to help so many people feel love that they've never felt before. People are just going to come to you like you're their mom or their father. You have the natural gift. And that's why I say with the children, even with the teenagers and the young adults, you have this gift of nurture. It's like, what are you waiting for? That's the only other question I have. All right. So yes, it's going to take time. We have a seven of pentacles, being patient, uh, watering your seed, letting something grow. That's why I said, start with something uh, that's not as demanding, something that you just thoroughly are excited and led to do, and then go from there with the seven of pentacles, five of swords. So yeah, you're dealing with some inner conflict within yourself, feeling like, if you can actually pull this off. And like I said, with your fears, it's time to face your fears so that you can move forward and expanding. So there is some inner conflict that you may be struggling with. Then we have the King of Swords. You are made to be a leader, a visionary. If you guys are a man and you guys are watching this, uh, your gender, you have a fatherly spirit on you. If you're a woman, you have a motherly spirit of just like this is, this looks like a grandparent, somebody who is interested in rules and um, making something right, but also a vision uh, for family and generations. So you guys have a fatherly or motherly type of spirit, especially if you're a man watching this and you chose deck number two, just like I told deck number one, if you guys are on this video, you've chosen deck number two. This it this day and this time is in divine order of synchronicity for you guys to wake up to your purpose. It's that deep. The chances of you guys finding this video, seeing this video, or choosing this deck are very, very, very slim to none. Therefore, I know that this is meant for you and you were divinely guided to see this video and this deck. So you guys have a rule of logic and order. You guys are about that. You guys are also about uh, harmony. You guys are also about unity and love, keeping things in order, um, fair, fairness, inequality is what I also hear. Everyone's the same in your eyes, no matter what they've done. That's why I said you guys gotta 
be in the right places. Uh, we have the Queen of Pinnacles. So you guys are a manifester. You guys won't have to worry about manifesting money or being financially stable, especially with the pentacle here. You guys are made to be abundant and independent. But for the most part, you are a manifester. If you are in a relationship with someone right now and I'm describing them, you guys are like you guys have the energy of being great adoption parents and a home for kids like a, a shelter too for some of you guys not all chariot moving forward you guys could be a cancer you don't have to be so moving forward it's time to move forward it's time to take action right now so what you could be doing is working on your fears writing down your fears and what is holding you back from expanding and doing what you are meant to to do here on earth and then we have the queen of cups so you guys have a lot of strong personality very emotional very compassionate is the queen of cups uh if you see with the water behind her she's a very emotional person but she's not afraid to be vulnerable she's not afraid to love and she also has that nana spirit for some of you guys like that old the the lady the grandma that just takes care of her kids and says come on over i want to cook you guys a meal that's the type of energy or spirit i have um, not based on actual logic age, so not not offensive in any means. It's just it's an amazing spirit of feeling nurture and feeling like I want to go to N Nana's house. You know, that's what I get. It just reminds me of my Nana. Just so much compassion and love and just accepting everybody. And that's the type of energy she has. But also you have a dominant you have a dominant masculine energy when it comes to standing up for what is right. And uh, you have a good you're going to be great independently if you're single woman or a single man, you're going to be fine independently doing it on your own. So you won't have to worry about that. All right, let's see what your guys' empowerment messages are. Okay, and I'm going to read these from the book. We have the six ray of devotion. Yeah, you guys are, look at this card. It's you guys. So, I mean, it's not literally you guys, but I mean, the compassion, the love, it's just pouring out so much devotion. All right. 43 the sixth ray of devotion the sixth ray of devotion bestows the qualities of persistence unwavering focus and intensity of feeling it is a gift of the strength to move mountains with your will for what you love when the sixth ray of devotion appears you are being given guidance that even if you do not seem to have much worldly power right now the power of your beliefs can conquer obstacles you are receiving a blessing. It is serving your soul growth and will help you devote faith in your principles and trust the power of your beliefs. You will be able to recognize and appreciate the extraordinary strength within you and realize that you have enough willpower to keep working towards your dream, overcoming any obstacle until you are divinely successful. The challenge with the six ray is not to become an anchored in your beliefs that you become financial, fanatical, judging others because their beliefs are different. You can be unwavering in your adherence to your belief system and yet honor the fact that there are as many paths to divine union as there are people. That's the ways the universe calls you home to love are unlimited. For those working with this energy, the power of mind and emotions will come into focus. You may need to channel your emotional and mental power into worthy projects and practice balancing your intensity with lightness of heart and playfulness so you don't become harsh on despairing if things appear not to be working. So finally, this is a special connection to religion and love. You are asked to hold the healing power of love in your heart for all that are who for all of those who are evolving through a life experience involving religion practice. So this is about spreading your beliefs of love, support, and encouragement to involve, to evolve and heal. That's what it says here. And also it tells me that if you guys are not a religious person in which, you know, I'm spiritual, then it is for you to share the message of love rather than religion. I felt that heavily too with the compassion card. All right, then we have the seventh ray of ritual order and ceremony. So yeah, this is a lot to do with religion as well and letting people know that, you know, it's about love. It's not about, it's not about all the other stuff. It's about love. All right, let's see, let's see. 44 and 43, that's interesting. 44. 43 and 44 you guys got so if you guys see 444 look out for that as well all right 
When the gift of the seven ray enters your life, something new is being formed, something that will benefit the world. There may be an increase in interest in magic, ceremony, and ritual for healing purposes. It is a spiritual cleansing agent that allows the truth of spiritual freedom, empowerment, and the choice to be seen and felt, restoring hope and joy to the heart. Choosing a spiritual practice to engage on a regular basis, creating your own spiritual system, will help you call the genius of seventh ray energy into your life. Your spiritual practice might be a daily prayer, prayer followed by a short conscious dance or yoga session or meditation, walk in nature, or a combination of both. Find what works for you. Do this regularly. The past can teach us wisdom and help us create a more loving future if we allow ourselves to balance our passion for the future with the respect for what has been. For humans who don't trust or even recognize the love of the divine in their hearts as yet, those who do are great supporters. The seventh ray empowers us to use loving ritual to invite divine presence to fill our life. So your guys' work can also be in the religious field, the church field, and just sharing love and compassion rather than condemnation and things of that nature. So ultimately, you guys are a light. Your purpose is to be a light, to have compassion, and to be a leader and love and nurture. And, but overall, it's about compassion and compassion embodies all of these nurturing and loving uh, aspects and characteristic traits. So if you guys chose deck number two, don't forget to comment down below. I cannot wait to see what you guys have to say about this. Again, like I tell everyone, thank you so much for giving me the openness that I needed to be able to tap into this energy and help you guys with your life purpose. Let's move on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading for discovering your life's purpose. All right, deck number three, let's see what we got. Sanctuary, take time out from the world, spend more time alone, meditate or retreat. Intention. Gentleness, I already can see what your guys' purpose is with just these cards. Freedom, maybe that's why. Freedom, freedom, freedom. I like to think that my purpose here on earth is freedom. I love freedom and possibility. All right, so right off the bat, you guys have a great spirit. I also feel like you guys have a spirit of peace, tranquility, and calmness. Even if you feel like your life is chaotic, in which it could be, or you go through chaotic events, I like to tell everyone who's dealing with their purpose that it is what you struggle with the most that will open you up to what your purpose is. For instance, I said my purpose, I believe, is freedom. Therefore, I struggle with being in an environment or a situation where I feel controlled. These are reasons for me to break free. Therefore, I am constantly being put in these situations so that I can activate my potential and my purpose. With you guys, I feel like you guys have this amazing spirit of tranquility and peace. And so you might struggle with being in chaotic events or being with people or around people with low vibration. Low vibration meaning people who gossip or their drama or they're not really doing much to influence their sp their uh, spirit or their future now with the sanctuary this tells me that you guys also could be into retreats or meditation or yoga or one-on-one -on -one sessions with people i feel like you guys have uh you could have a calmness in your voice but there is something about you that is very kind and so i like to think of kind as being very peaceful and then you have the freedom card, live wild and free, choose your freedom, claim your independence. Then we have intention, be clear and decisive, focus on what you really want, be bold with your request to the universe. So this also tells me that you guys may be struggling with finding your purpose and that is because you guys are multifaceted. So I do feel like you guys could have a gift of, or a purpose of freeing people but also I'm getting, it's more of like a mental freedom. And then we have possibilities, raise your standards, elevate your expectations. You have unlimited pot potential. So I feel like your guys' purpose is around elevating consciousness. And to do that, you must break free, break the, the, break the mind free. The mind needs to be free to elevate 
And so I feel like you guys might have a sanctuary in, in doing that, or you guys are seen as a sanctuary to many people. All right, so with the base chakra, this is the also known as the root chakra, which is fundamental for the spine and movement. But for the most part, the base and the root chakra is about the philosophy of movement and also the I am confirmation. So you guys also have a purpose of affirmations, able to manifest things through affirmations and love and shining. Let's see what else we got here for group number three. Sacral chakra. So I feel like you guys are definitely going to be into chakras and some either some Reiki healing or some sanctuary meditation, retreat, yoga, all of that good stuff. Darkest fears. Yeah. The sacral chakra is the second chakra located below your navel. It represents creativeness and also sexual energy or emotions and sexual dysfunction, but mostly it's about intimacy. With the sacral chakra, it is also about feeling. So this is the I am, and this is the feeling, the sacral chakra, and then this is the I am. Now, what's interesting to me is, like I said, you guys will be dealing with freeing the physical body and the spiritual body. So your guys' job or your purpose here is about healing. And even with the shine, I don't feel like you guys are in the forefront. I feel like you guys are a sanctuary, a peaceful sanctuary for people to heal their mind and body. There you go. And could be heart. Technically, we have three. This could be the heart chakra, the love. Um, so I do feel like you guys are in, you guys will be into the chakra work. You guys will be into elevating people's consciousness, helping them raise their standards, letting, basically it's like, I feel like you're activating people. You're activating people, but you have this kindness and this gentle spirit of being able to set them free mentally and physically. And so you guys will be, you will be dealing with people who are enslaved mentally and they're dealing with darkest fears. So you're dealing with fears and releasing this. And I feel like with your guys' purpose is that you guys are freeing people mentally and in return, their body is being uh, the end result of feeling free. So it starts in the mind, but once you free them in the mind, I feel like you guys might be into some healing stuff, some Reiki healing, uh, but for the most part, I also feel peace. I also feel a peace in a sanctuary, a place where people can go. I see this little place. It's like a small house that's out in the woods or the forest or the jungle or somewhere around green pastures where not a lot of people know about it. And they come to you because they need some type of healing or some, some just to hear your voice or your kindness or healing their body, releasing them mentally and helping them conquer their darkest fears. And the fears are mental. So you will be dealing with setting people free in the mind. And I also feel like you do have a manifesting ability to do this in having healing hands. If you see this person's hands, I feel like you guys do encompass that energy and that gift to really heal, heal people's body in their mind for the sake of being free. but you guys are multifaceted. You have multiple gifts, healing, sanctuary, peace, gentleness, speak words of love. You could be a teacher and educator on the chakras, on clean, cleansing and healing. I solely believe, like I told the last two decks, if you guys are on this video at this time of this day, watching this video right now, and you chose deck three, there's a reason why you're here. And I feel like it is to activate your gifts and your potential and your purpose. I also feel like if you have not gotten into looking into the chakra cleansing, that you should get into the chakra cleansing. Also going to spirit stores and opening up your, I feel like people already feel like you are a walking sanctuary. And so they come to you. So people may come to you a lot for advice or just to hear what you have to say because you come from a place of gentleness and love. And for the most part, I feel like you're, you might be confused in what it is that you're supposed to do because you are multifaceted. 
but your purpose is to heal the mind, heal the body. That's what I, that's what I feel like your guys. If you guys had a slogan for your a business or something with your purpose, it would be heal the mind, heal the body, but you're dealing with both of them and you're helping people feel this type of way after you heal them. And it's also in the mind of enlightenment. So you guys might be interested in retreats or meditating or yoga or meditation music or spirit. I feel like you guys are pretty evolved spiritually, but with the raise your standards, I don't feel like you guys have even thought this far ahead. Personally, you may, you may have questioned, Hmm, you know, a lot of people come to me. They want to, you know, they, they want to hear me. They, they want to hear what I have to say, but you've never taken it farther than that. So that's why I'm here to, to activate your gifts and open up your mind and consciousness so that you can elevate your expectations and allowing this to come forth. Step out of your comfort zone. Yeah, I definitely feel that. You and your loved ones are safe. Believe in the impossible. So yeah, this is a matter of, see, here's the deal. Like I told you guys before, if you guys have a purpose that's centered around freeing the mind and the body, this is something that you are also personally going to go through because it is through the hardest times and the darkest places that we discover our gifts and our potential as well as our purpose. And so I feel like if you are here to free the mind, then you also have fears that need to be freed. Believe in the impossible. Do something you've never done before. You guys could be a cancer. You don't have to be. Do something you've never done before. Step out of your comfort zone. Go to a, a, a retreat. Drive up north. Go somewhere. Travel. Open your mind. Take time out. Take time to breathe out. So I feel like this is this might be a lot of information for you guys. But for the most part, you guys are a sanctuary. Therefore, it is important and imperative. I cannot stress this enough for you guys to take the proper time to breathe. Being connected with source, being connected with the higher self, being connected with spiritual rim, the spiritual rim. Anytime I do these readings and I'm taking on thousands of people, thousands of views and comments and all of the energy, People don't really recognize what I have to do to keep this place in this portal open for my guides to communicate with me and I can hear with clarity because if I don't take the time out or if I don't take breaks and I'm overwhelmed because again, you guys are going to be taking on a lot of energy, a lot of chakra cleansing, a lot of yoga stuff, meditation, people, a lot of people. A lot of people are going to be attracted to you as a sanctuary, a sanctuary. Therefore, you have to remain a sanctuary. And how can you be a sanctuary in when your mind is chaotic? Now, your purpose also, like I told deck number one and deck number two, is to not be a sanctuary in a peaceful setting. You will be tested and tried to be a sanctuary in a very chaotic setting. So if you guys are get called from a sister or brother or a family member and they say, come over here. It's out of control. We need you. It's because you're the sanctuary. Therefore you have to constantly make sure that you are open and that you are cleansed to remain a sanctuary. Therefore you're going to need to take time out to relax and to breathe so that you can remain in that state of mind. For me, I have to do certain things, uh, whether it's candles, meditating. Uh, sometimes I take two to three showers a day to cleanse the energy, whatever it works for you. It's time to discover what it is that keeps you in this place of activating your spiritual gifts. All right, let's look at some things that some tarot. So yeah, you guys have been through a lot with the nine of wands. This is the wounded warrior. People have betrayed you, lied to you, have done things wrong. Broken heart. Yeah. The three of swords, swords, seven of swords. You guys have been through a lot. A lot of people may not even know this because you guys have such a kindred spirit. The high priestess, you guys have psychic abilities. Again, you guys are made to be spiritually intact. 
Therefore, if you guys are out of balance spiritually due to these things, because we have the spiritual rim, and let me move these cards around so you guys can see them. We have the spiritual rim and then we have the physical rim, right? These are things that have happened in your, your past or could be currently happening in the physical rim. This is ego stuff, heartbreak, betrayal, lies, people taking your kindness for weakness, going through a lot, being wounded. But then we have the high priestess. And so anytime you're out of balance with your spiritual self, like I said, you guys will be dealing with this type of heartache on a much more magnified level. Because if you feel like you guys are just, something isn't right, something doesn't feel right, it's because you guys are out of tune with your spiritual self. So again, there is a saying that says, what you feed will grow. And if you feed your ego, if you feed pains and wounds, it'll grow. If you feed your spiritual person or your higher self, whatever you believe, it will grow. Two of Pentacles. Again, you guys are multifaceted. You guys are gonna have multiple opportunities, multiple things that you guys wanna do, not just this, but it will be centered around that. I also feel like you guys, if you're worried or you have fears about how to make this a business or how to get paid for your purpose, don't worry about that. You guys will be stable. But also don't be so hoarding with your money that you don't release abundance coming in. As you help people, people will just wanna give you abundance. Remember that as you're healing and manifesting people, you are basically healing yourself. We are all connected. Therefore, when you give unto others, others give to you. And abundance will be one of the gifts that people give to you. Also with the love, I just feel like, again, this is the heart chakra. So we have the three chakras here. These are the most, these are the ones that you will be dealing with the most, I feel like. So look into that. Yeah. But you guys could have a gift of psychic abilities. And we'll clarify with these two cards. Uh, but you guys could have a gift of clairvoyance, seeing things, clair, clair audience, claircipients. You guys could be or have spiritual gifts. And I feel like you guys do. And the high priestess is knowing. So you guys will have the gift of knowing. Yeah, you guys will have the gift of knowing. You'll just know things. So that's also something that's gonna come. You guys have, it's like you guys have a toolbox of all of these little gifts. And that's why I said, there's multiple things that you know how to do, and but they're all for the purpose of one thing. And, that, and that's healing the mind, healing the body. All right, let's look into the soul child. All right, let's see what the soul child is about, 14. Rebirth is upon you, beautiful child of the universe. You have prepared for a new life, and it is starting right now. The divine moment of rebirth, which occurs after a period of struggle, of intense inner work or physical transformation has arrived. So yeah, you guys have been through a lot. You would have had to, to be able to activate these gifts of healing the mind and healing the body. Like an adventurer, enjoying the discovery of a brand new world, take your time to explore the increase of your light, power, and love. You have undergone the death of the old order nothing is as what it is nor will it be so soon you have to have learned detachment to release and let go over and over again in so many ways you have experienced inner death as you have bravely surrendered that which no longer serves your growth this lifetime even if you once loved it dearly or couldn't imagine life without it deep inside through the process your soul has been gathering energy it has been drawing it away from the old forms of your life and relationships from your old beliefs about health finances work and from what you used to hold meaning for this card can also indicate that a child around you perhaps one about whom you have been thinking deeply is particularly gifted or spiritually oriented it also could be a sign that a new business idea profession or pro personal relationship or lifestyle choice is going to support the growth of your spirit in a positive and encouraging way. Rebirth is going to happen. Do not give up. Sometimes it is darkest just before the dawn. So yes, you guys are spiritually awakening. And that's why I said you guys are here to see this video because this is also part of your spiritual awakening. So it is not coincidence that you guys are here and you chose deck number three. Let's look into 25. Merkaba spiritual protection. 
I definitely think you guys will be spiritually protected as the gifts that you guys have are very powerful. Being open to receive is a way to gain empowerment, strength, and all matter of assistance. To enhance receptivity, to enhance receptiveness, it can be helpful to declutter and cleanse your energy field. Like I said, this allows for that which is rightfully yours to be shed. Sometimes this will include the disowned thoughts and feelings of others. When you release these thoughts and feelings, a spaciousness will grow within you. Then you can then receive more of what is rightfully meant for you. An open, sensitive person can easily become energetically overloaded. From physical pain to emotional and psychological tension, an overload does not feel good. You may even feel like you are carrying others on your back or in your head. The added weight can drag you naturally down to a light vibration into anguish, doubt, fear, or despair. Your inner vision too may be obscured by the overload. This is exactly what I was saying. Whether experiencing overload to your system is an unusual occurrence for you or you have a tendency to absorb and process others' energies, you will benefit from spiritual cleansing. Also, pay particular attention to what you sense immediately after your cleansing. It is time you may become very aware of just who and what has been draining you and be able to lovingly but firmly say you must leave my energy field now and not return without my expression, verbal permission, of my own free will so it will be last but not least this oracle is also confirmation for those of you who have been questioning if a relationship person or situation has been draining you or transferring negative energies or thoughts into your energy field your insights are correct and you can now release this energy and clear the process to remove the cords of attachment so like i said you guys do have a very powerful purpose and gift Again, with the chakra cleansing, yoga, meditation, you are a sanctuary, so a lot of people will be drawn to you, which is not surprising. Also, I just feel like you have a spiritual gift, but will have spiritual protection, constantly making sure that your aura is clean and your energy is clear as well. So if you guys chose deck number three, I can't wait to see what you guys have to say about your life purpose. But also, I just want to thank you guys for being open enough to allow me to guide you guys to discovering your life purpose. So congratulations on your spiritual awakening and discovering your life purpose and tuning in to this pick a card reading. Until the next time, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video.